right guys, Adam Fennig here, Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed, and right now we're going to walk through how to set up your Raven console. I've done a few videos on this, uh, but this is our freshest one. So hopefully you have power, and the first thing we need to do is we need to just clear everything, if you know your numbers. And you don't have to know your numbers, you just have to know how to figure them out, and that's what I'm going to help you with. Hold down the CE button and turn it on. Holy cow, we just erased the whole thing. There's no way we'll get spraying today. But we will. So we're going to start off uh, US volume per acre. Yes. Enter is basically the yes button. Yes. So what kind of speed source do we have? So you scroll with the CE button through our options and you select with enter. So I've got a radar because I'm going to use an Astro a uh, hockey puck sensor that plugs right into my three pin right there on the back. Radar is what I'm using. So I'm going to hit enter for select. What kind of valve do I have? Well, today I've got a standard valve. Some days I may have a PWM. It's growling at us already. So PWM, PWM close, standard, fast, fast close, all of our options. We're going to land on the standard valve and we are going to hit select. So we're done with our backside. Okay, now we start up front here. We're going to start with our boom cow, boom cow one. Well, let's just pretend that I have three booms, three sections, and let's say that we're doing a 90 foot sprayer and each section is 30 feet. So boom cow one is going to be in inches. Press enter, three, six, zero, enter. Boom, cow one is entered. Boom, two, two, enter, three, six, zero, enter. Boom, three, enter, three, six, zero, enter. 90 foot sprayer. Speed cow, that is provided on your Astro of 783-ish. You may have to tweak that number. Meter cow. The hardest part of the whole day. 1,450 is what we're punching in there. 1,450. Enter. Valve cow. If only they would put a sticker on there. Sometimes it does come off though, but they make it very handy when we're doing all of these calibrations. We've got a sticker there. We've got a sticker here. Makes it super simple for setting these up. Enter two, one, two, three. Enter. Rate one. Now just remember that extra decimal because if my rate is 10 and I do 10, one, zero, that's only one. You have to hit an extra zero. Now you say, Adam, I'm done. I, 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 I did it, and, but it's still flashing cow. You didn't put in your rate two. Okay, and there's another trick that we might find here in a second. So let's put in an alternate rate of 15. Okay, now we're good to go. I know we're good to go because the flashing cow went away and it's yelling at us. So our rate zero, I've got my three booms on for my three sections. We're gonna go to rate one, which is 10. And now we're gonna see if we can get this valve to move. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so. Is it moving? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very slowly, but yep. yes, it is moving. Yep, so this valve is dialing to try and get to our target rate, and it is not being successful yet. So this is gonna beep at us here at any minute because our rate reads zero and it's reading zero because our flow meter is stationary, okay? So if I would run water through this, it would spin. This would adjust because this is telling us that we're putting on too much, so it would start to shut down and then we would dial her in and all of a sudden that butterfly would come back and start to be pretty stationary. Our rate would then read the correct number and this would not yell at us. Now, when I'm in the field running, I hit the speed button at the bottom. 
so that I can check to make sure this speed matches my tractor speed and then I can see my rate. So rate and speed, that's what you need to know and that's what this thing is playing with all day long when you're running it through the field. So that is how to set up the Raven rate controller. That is how the standard valve butterflies to dial in and that is what the flow meter does is read the actual flow that's coming through and then this valve reacts to what the flow meter is telling it. So this is saying, hey, I'm getting 50 gallon, we need to shut down. The valve will start to shut down. And all of a sudden the flow meter says, okay, now we're dialing into 10. The valve says, okay, I'm getting close. And they talk and all of a sudden it dials right in and there you go. And then you speed up and, and the controller says all of a sudden, I need more, I need more. Now it's talking to the valve. Valve opens up, flow meter says you opened up too much, it shuts down, you get the point. But they're constantly talking with your speed. So that's what we're doing today. Run through a Raven rate controller, one of the best rate controllers ever made, even though it doesn't map, doesn't have a touch screen, but what it does do is work. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.